It's obvious from the second you launch Stumble Guys that the game has similarities to Fall Guys. I mean, it even copied the game's title. That said, I enjoy playing Fall Guys with friends, so decided to check out this game and see if it's fun in its own right. Let's get into it. Regardless of whether you want to call Stumble Guys a Fall Guys ripoff or not, the similarities are clear. Both feature knockout rounds made up of a variety of small scale, quick challenge levels designed to eliminate players as you progress through the rounds. In the majority of modes in Stumble Guys, players go through a maximum of three rounds, two elimination rounds, and a final to decide the winner. The low number of rounds means a full game can be completed in around five minutes, so it's super easy to hop on for a game or two. There is an adequate number of different levels in the game, but a select few levels come up in rotation a lot more regularly, which meant I got bored of playing these levels pretty quickly. Many of the levels are almost carbon copies of Fall Guys levels, but with less complications and obstacles, which I felt oversimplified many of the levels, so they just weren't as fun as what they've clearly copied. The levels that are more original, however, are actually the best ones in the game, as they provide something we've not seen before. If more unique concept levels could be added, that would be great, as the overall level mix feels rather samey to other party-style games at the moment, and it's lacking in levels that make Stumble Guys stand out. Stumble Guys featured a selection of special events which included a Mr. Beast collaboration and currently a SpongeBob collaboration. The Mr. Beast event featured one unique level which was pretty good, but the other rounds were made up from base game levels picked at random, which was a bit of a shame. Aesthetically, the levels look okay but lack the visual pop that you get from Fall Guys or Feather Party, which are far more visually interesting. Due to Stumble Guys Legacy as a mobile game, the controls feel loose and less refined than what I'd expect from a console first developed game. Let me elaborate a bit more on the game mechanics. General movement feels a bit slippery like you're floating on an ice rink, while jumping and diving are massively influenced by character momentum, which can lead to some unpredictable outcomes. Diving especially can cover massive distances if you're up to speed, but also barely any distance from standstill. This of course makes sense, but the level of variation can cause frustration at times. Stumble Guys on PS5 lacks some of the features I'd expect, such as duo or squad lobbies, and compared to the mobile version of Stumble Guys, there are fewer special events available, so you're actually getting a worse offering on the console release than the mobile game, which seems bonkers to me. While you can invite friends to lobbies, this isn't quite the same as teaming up with a group of random players. Also on the same topic, I can only recall one team-driven round, which seems odd given the game has a party game theme. Both games that compare to Stumble Guys, Fall Guys and Feather Party both have a wide variety of team-based rounds, so the lack of them in Stumble Guys makes it stand out for the wrong reasons. Game performance may not be something that comes to mind for a game like Stumble Guys, but game stability is always important given it's a game that requires an online connection to play. The game itself seems to be stable and runs fine, but I have experienced connection issues and the odd occasion where I was completely disconnected from the game, which was very annoying indeed. It's not performance related, but I wanted to mention that the game's theme song is super repetitive and after a couple of hours reviewing the game, it was driving me crazy. As is tradition with video games nowadays, Stumble Guys has a season pass, which I felt was pointless as the game's outfits were far from eye candy. I cannot understand why anyone would spend money on the game's cosmetics, but that's just me. It's possible to change your character and their footprints, but individual clothing customization that's possible in Fall Guys is absent here. There are plenty of characters, mind you, so that's a plus. Stumble Guys is good for a quick hop on, hop off game, but I'd definitely rather spend my time playing the competition due to tighter, more responsive mechanics, superior visuals, and a much wider variety of levels to play. The fact that the mobile version of the game has more content than the console release just shows the prioritisation, and I think the game has plenty of catching up to do.